Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scott Thomas, along with Charles Cook and Cogar on Madison County Cable's coverage of Huntsville Eagle Basketball. We greet you tonight from Pioneer Gym and Gentry. When it's 1 4 a senior boys matchup between your Huntsville Eagles and the home Gentry Pioneers. Gentry under head coach Sean Prosser with an overall win mark of 10 wins and 8 losses. Gentry 3 and 6 inside the 1 4 conference. Huntsville Eagles under head coach Jim Stafford in with an overall record of 21 wins and two losses. And the Eagles are 8-1 in the 1-4-A conference and a tie for first with the Pea Ridge Blackhawks. And they're about ready to announce the starters for this 1-4-A conference season boys game. And Eldon Cripps to do the announcing. Starting senior post to number 4-3, Jose Aguilar. Number 25, senior Caleb Kirk. Senior number 5, Drew Garrett. Junior number 12, River Gossbiner. And a sophomore, number 14, Jack Eaton. And here's the starting lineups now for the Gentry Pioneers. And now for your starting lineup for your Gentry Pioneers. A 5 eight, senior guard, number five. Number five, Ryan Hockenberry, Ryan Hockenberry starting for the Pioneers and senior. 11, senior, forward, number 22, senior number 22, Parker. Brent Barker. The junior, number two, Wally Dane. Six three, junior guard, number 24. Number 24, Matt Jewelrat, the junior. And sophomore, number 20, Cole Cripps. And good to the pioneers is Sean Price. Once again, your head coach is the head coach of the junior pioneers, Sean Price. Pioneers are in 10 and 8 overall, 3 and 6 inside the 1 4 8 conference. They're in 6th place in the league. Huntsville under head coach Jim Stafford, 21 and 2 overall, 8 and 1 in the 1 4 8 conference, and tied right now for first with the P Ridge Blackhawks. P Ridge tonight is on the road, just up Highway 59 here, about 13 miles up and grab it. It'll be Caleb Kirk jumping center for Huntsville against Brent Barker for Gentry. Ball's in the air, tip one by the Eagles. It'll be River Gossbiner ahead, now left free throw extended. Now goes back three, pulled up Drew Garrett. That, that was no good, rebound, hold the Aguilar. Aguilar right back up with it, shot no good. Ball's tipped around and it's out the Pioneers last over the remaining Huntsville basketball. It'll be Jack Eaton, the sophomore, inbounding right baseline for the Eagles. Eaton looking at the ball in play. Up top to River, Gospiner is the junior point guard. He's matched up against Wally Dane. Gospiner still with him. Inside to Jose Aguilar. Aguilar rips through and he loses the basketball to Ryan Hockenberry for Gentry. Cole Cripps, the sophomore, will bring the ball up for the Pioneers. Huntsville starting man-to-man -man defensively. Cripps tosses the point to the right side before Brent Barker rises for a three ball and hits it. Grim Parker with, his, with the Pioneers' first basket of the game. Gentry up on Huntsville, 3-0, 7-15 remains first quarter. I'm going to head to Caleb Kirk. Kirk, a foul detected against Gentry. Charge to Wally Dane. Dane with his first personal foul for Gentry. First team foul against the Pioneers. Ball being inbounded by Jackie and in play to River Gospiner. Gospiner rises and shoots a three and hits. First. Basket for the Eagles, scored by the junior River Gossbiner is a three. Huntsville and Gentry are tied at three, all seven minutes remaining first quarter. Cole Cripps right side of the floor now for the Pioneers. Up top goes to Brent Barker. Sideline now to Wally Dane. Near center circle, Ron Hockenberry on to Barker now. Brent Barker, Cripps reverses it to Matt Julerat. Julerat on center circle now to Dane. Right side of the floor now to Barker. Barker, between the circles, Julerat. On to Cripps, the sophomore, right side of the floor. Brings it back center circle now to Dane. Wally Dane, back now to Brent Barker. 
Barker between the circles, now Jewelry. Now Jewelry. On now to Wally Dane between the circles, back to Cole Christmas versus the basketball on the Ron Hockenberry. Uh, Barker now with it. Barker. Jewelry now. Center circle back down to Dane. Left side, Cripps. 6 12 remaining here in the first quarter. Three all score between Huntsville and Gentry. Brent Barker. Right side of the floor, Ron Hockenberry. Leaves the back center circle now. Hockenberry, right side of the floor, Jillarat. Jillarat backs it up toward the timeline on the Crips. Cole Crips, the sophomore guard. Right side of the floor, Wally Dane. Dane will recycle the offense with the Pioneers. 545 remaining here in the first quarter. Crips on the point. Left side, Ron Hockenberry. Hawkenberry still in possession. Center circle back now to Dane. Pioneers looks like they're looking for some cutters to the basket. On to Cripps now. Cole Cripps looking to drive. That's it off now to Dane. Up top to Barker. Brent Barker. Left side now Ryan Hawkenberry. Hawkenberry. On to Barker. Looks like Sean Price is going to take the air out of the basketball for the Pioneers. Left side Matt Jeweler at now. Jillarat, match up against Jackie Huntsville man to man. Jillarat to the corner now. Hawkenberry back up top. Brent Barker with a deep three shot. No good. Rebound pulled by Jose Aguilar for Huntsville. Here comes River Gosping in the four court now. Gosping right side Jack Eaton. Eaton left side now Caleb Kirk. Kirk into the paint pulling up from 14. Rattles out. No good. Rebound pulled by Hawkenberry for Gentry. Matt Jewelrat crosses it over to Wally Day. 4.39 remaining first quarter. Three all is the score. Ron Hockenberry right side of the floor now for the Pioneers. Between the circles, Brent Parker. And to Wally Day and goes through Dane out of bounds. It'll be Huntsville. Huntsville basketball. 4.31 remaining first quarter. Huntsville and Gentry tied at three all. A little token press by the Pioneers in the backcourt. Ball goes back to River Gosfiener. Gosby to pull, pulling up now. Inside to Drew Garrett, all along Garrett to the 10. Yes, sir. Drew Garrett with his first basket of the game. He has two points. Huntsville up on Gentry, 5 to 3, 4 10 remaining first quarter. Ball the game, left side of the floor now to Brent Barker. Barker pulls up on the point for a three shot and hits it. Brent Barker with the second three of the ball game. He has all six of the Pioneer points. Gentry up on Huntsville, 6 to 5, 355 remaining first quarter. River Gosfinger, left side of the floor, now for the Eagles. Gosfinger, that's around, ball's tipped on to Drew Garrett up top. Caleb Kirk rises for three. Yes, sir. Caleb Kirk with his first basket of the ball in the three pointer. Huntsville up on Gentry now, eight to six, 338 remains first quarter. Wally Dane with possession with the Pioneers, right side of the floor to Cole Cripps. Cripps looking to drive on Aguilar. Cripps in all the way, shoots it. No good. Rebound for Caleb Kirk for Huntsville. Here comes Kirk back for the Eagles. Kirk. We'll leave it back for River Gosfinger. Gosfinger match up against Wally Day. Man to man defense for the Pioneers. They're actually helping some. Three pointer up left wing. Kirk, two in a row for the senior. Six points on the game for Caleb Kirk. 11 to 6 is the lead now for Huntsville over Gentry. 3 08 remains here in the first. Wally Day with possession. Right side, Ryan Hawkenberry. Hawkenberry will bring it back between the circles now to Cole Cripps. Left side now to Dane. Wally Day runs from the Huntsville bench. The Hawkenberry, Black free throw line extended to Cole Cripps. Oh, Barker pulling up with a three shot. That's three in a row. Three, three threes on the end for Brent Barker. He has all nine of the Pioneer points at timeout. Timeout on the floor, taken by Gentry. It's a 30 second timeout taken by Sean Price. We'll keep it here. 2.45 remaining in the first quarter. It's up on Gentry, 11 to nine. Points on the first place, Pioneer Brent Barker. Three, three points. He has all nine of the Gentry points. And then for Huntsville, Kevin Kirk has said two threes for six points. River Gosby has also hit a trade for three points. And Drew Garrett's hit an inside basket for two points. Senior Eagles will be back in action. That's Tuesday night, February the 3rd. Back on the road, taking on the Lincoln Wolves in Western Washington County. Ball be inbounded to River Gosfinger, and Gosfinger bring it up. Hat, it'll be Pioneers will go half court defensively. Looks like a man. On the left wing to Jackie. Eaton rises for a three. Off the sideline, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Drew Garrett. 
It will be Gentry basketball, 231 remaining first quarter. 11-9 the lead for the Eagles. And here comes Cole Cripps, the sophomore. Bringing it on into the forecourt now for Gentry. Cripps crosses the point to the right side of the floor. Offensive oh, out, no legal screen. Called on Wally Dane for Gentry. That's Dane's second personal foul. It won't, I, I must, have, must have missed a foul somewhere. I thought Dane committed one earlier. River Gospiner, left wing now to Caleb Cook up top now. Three pointer up by Drew Garrett. No good. All tipped out of bounds. Called off the Eagles last. It will be Gentry basketball. 2.07 remaining first quarter, 11-9 the lead for Huntsville. Here's Wally Dane with possession. Three-pointer up good. A Brent Barker. Four threes on the game for Barker. He has all 12 of the Pioneer points. Gentry's up on Huntsville, 12-11, 146 remains here in the first quarter. River Gosfinger with possession. Gosfinger. On to Jose Aguilar. Aguilar has open lane to the 10. Fouled on the play. By Brent Barker. Barker better watch it. Brent Barker charged with his first personal foul for Gentry. Three team fouls now against the Pioneers. Jose Aguilar with two free throw attempts for Huntsville. First shot by Aguilar. Rattles home. And we're tied up again. Here comes Christian Kane in the lineup for the Eagles, replacing Drew Garrett. Aguilar's second free throw attempt on the way. Rattled out, no good. Rebound chased down by Brent Barker. That's the first point of the game for the senior post, Jose Aguilar. Huntsville and Gentry are tied at 12 ball as we had 90 seconds remaining first quarter. Cole Cripps, left side of the floor now for the Pioneers. Cripps. Still with it, right side now to Ryan Hockenberry. Hockenberry, the Crips now by the center circle. Crips, center circle now Wally Dane. Left side of the floor now Matt Jillerat. Jillerat, left wing now, Crips. And Crips will bring it back to where the timeline, Sean Price still wants Gentry to play a deliberate ball game. As we hit one minute remaining in the first quarter, we're tied to 12 all. Cripps, center circle for the Pioneers. Being patient with the basketball. Possession arrow belongs to Gentry. And the next change on the alternate possession. Here's Cripps. Cripps, left side now, Matt Jewelrack. Jewelrack on the Brent Barker with a deep three shot. No good rebound for the off for Huntsville. Here's River Gopter brings up 20 seconds. That's that 28 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. River Gospiner will bring it now out of the timeline. That's up against Wally Day. Gospiner still with possession. 15 seconds now. Gospiner still with it. Driving it. He was tipped away. It's still in the air. Ends up back with the ahead now. Wally Day. Day takes it and plays to Barker. With Barker. 14 points on the game now. And that's the end of the first quarter for Pioneer Jim and Gentry. And you go ahead and get the. They clear these cheerleaders off the floor. There's still 1.2 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Officials, the officials talking it over. He says, get back out here. And I, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what the call was. They must have called Huntsville out of bounds or standing over the baseline on the throw in 1.2. Balls in play, Barker, he shoots it. No good, that's now the end of the first quarter. 14 to 12 is the lead. We'll be up in the second quarter and play in just a second. This is Eagle Basketball. Second quarter starting here at Pioneer Jim and Gentry with one-point conference matchup. 
It's the Gentry Pioneers up on the Huntsville Eagles by a score of 14 to 12. It will be Pioneer basketball in the alternate possession starting the second quarter. On the floor for Huntsville are number 14, Jackie, number 12, River Gosper, number four, Kristen Kane, number 25, Caleb Kirk, and number 14, Jose Aguilar. Three seniors, a junior, and a sophomore on the floor for Huntsville. Ball comes to Jake Falkenberry now for the Pioneers. Falkenberry keeping possession. Falkenberry, center circle now back to Cole Cripps. Cripps dropping it off. Now Brent Barker tipped away by Kristen Kane. Barker keeping possession. Barker inside. Shot by Cole Cripps is good. Cole Cripps first basket of the game. First non Barker basket for the Pioneers. He has two points. Huntsville, Gentry up on Huntsville 16 to 12. And they foul detected against Gentry. Against Cole Cripps. That's the second personal foul now against Cole Cripps. 14 fouls now against the Pioneers. Off in play to Caleb Kirk for the Eagles. Kirk into the paint. Kirk with the runner. Yes, sir. Caleb Kirk with eight points on the game now. Gentry up on Huntsville, 16-14. 7.07 remains in the first half. There's Wally Dane on in the forecourt. Dane right side to Cole Cripps now for Gentry. Cripps. Rail cross it over to Wally Dane. Dane, keeping possession for Gentry by the timeline. On the Cripps now. Cripps will bring it back toward the center circle. Cripps, keeping it. Cripps, right side of the floor now to Matt Jewelrat. Jewelrat matched up against Jack Eden Huntsville, staying man to man. Ball back now to Cripps, the sophomore guard. Price still waiting there out of the basketball for the Pioneers. 6.23 remaining here in the first half. Two point lead for the Pioneers at 16 to 14 over Huntsville. Cole Cripps, right side of the floor. Jake Falkenberry drops it back to Wally Dane. Dane still with it. Pass it back right on the center circle. Dane by the timeline now. Pioneer still looking for some cutters. 5.55 remaining here in the first half. Dane still with it, dropping it back to Cole Cripps. Cripps still with it. Cripps off to Falkenberry. Jake Falkenberry. Ball tipped away. Take by the River Gosmeter. Gosmeter in all the way. Gets it. River Gosmeter. Five points on the game now. Huntsville and Gentry are tied at 16, all with five and a half minutes remaining in the first half of play. Cole Cripps bringing it up against Jack. No, that's Matt Jorad, pardon me. On to Jake Falkenberry. Falkenberry inside the Cole Cripps. Cripps going the hole. Fade away jumper. Got it. Cole Cripps, four points on the game now. 18 16 lead for Gentry. 5 10 remaining first half of play. Here's River Gosfiener matchup against Wally Day. Gosfiener still with it. Gosfiener. Gosfiener to Caleb Kirk. Kirk looking to drive. Kirk, fade jumper, yes sir, off the window. Caleb Kirk into double figures now with 10. Huntsville and Gentry are tied at 18, all 445 remaining here in the first half. Wally Dane in the forecourt now for the Pioneers. Getting right by the timeline, River Gosfiener matches up on him. On now to Cole Cripps. Cripps backing up again to the center circle for Gentry. Jose Aguilar comes out on Cripps. The sophomore Cripps still keeping the basketball. Right side of the floor now, Jake Falkenberry. Falkenberry on to Wally Dane. Left side of the floor to Cole Cripps. Cripps pulling it out now. Cripps into the paint with the runner. Got it. Cole Cripps. Six points on the game now for the sophomore. Gentry up on Huntsville 20 to 18 as we have four minutes remaining in the first half. Ball goes left wing to Christian Kane. Kane takes one dribble, gets it up top to Jose Aguilar. Over to Jack Eaton. Eaton crosses it to Kane. Three seconds in the lane. Called on Caleb Kirk. Cole Cripps out of the ball game. Now Blake Boyd will come in to the Gentry lineup with 3.50 remaining in the first half. 
20 to 18, it's the lead for Gentry. Raleigh Dane in the full court now for the Pioneers. Brings it right side before the Matt Jolorak. Jolorak so matched up against Jack Eaton. Saves it off to Brent Barker. We'll switch now. Barker rises for a three. No good. Rebound pulled by River Gosfiner. Gosfiner on in the full court for the Eagles. 326 remaining first half. Hey, right corner. Eaton, three ball. Yes! Jack Eaton with his first basket into the game. It's a three. Time out on the floor. Taken by Sean Price for Gentry. 30-second timeout taken by Price for Gentry. We'll keep it here. Three eighteen remaining here in the first half, 21 to 20. It's leading out for Huntsville over Gentry in the quick scoring summary. For Gentry, first Brent Barker has 14, 10, 5, 6, only two. Players on the scoring column for the Pioneers for Huntsville. They're led by Caleb Kirk with 10 points, including two three-pointers. Five points for River Gospiner, three for Jack Eaton, two points for Drew Garrett, one for Jose Aguilar. <laughs> Eagles will be back in action at Lincoln next Tuesday night, February the 3rd. Jake Falkenberry with possession for Gentry, right side of the floor. Falkenberry. Rolls it back out, Clint Phipps is back in the game now for Gentry. And Joel Red back now to Cripps. Cripps looking to drive on Gosman. Cripps on all the way, he'll shoot it. And he'll go to the free throw line. He was fouled by River Gosminer. Gosminer first personal foul for Huntsville. First team foul against the Eagles. And Cole Cripps will be at the line. Two free throw attempts for Gentry. First shot by the sophomore. On the way. Back on out, no good. Second shot for Cripps. On the way. Back on, no good. Rebound pulled by Jose Aguilar. 2.48 remaining here in the first half in Gentry as Huntsville leading the Pioneers 21-20. Every Gosfinger on the point. Right side, Christian Kane into Caleb Kirk. Kirk up on top to Jose Aguilar. Aguilar, right of the point. Left wing, Gosfinger. Gosfinger with the ball fake. We'll bring it back up top to Kirk. Kirk right back to Gosfinger. He rises for a three. That's not rims out. No good rebound. Pull by Christian Kane for Huntsville. Kane will bring it back. Kane. On the elbow, Jose Aguilar. Aguilar, left wing back now to River Gosfinger. Gosfinger, on the elbow, back to Aguilar, right back to Gosfinger. Gosfinger to the baseline. Gosfinger in all the way, yes sir! River Gosfinger, seven points on the game now for the junior. Huntsville leads, Gentry 23-22-03, remaining in the first half. Matt Jularet, center circle now, Jake Falkenberry. Right side now, Cole Cripps. Cripps, still with possession. Cripps looking to drive, Cripps. Saves it in the corner, it's out of bounds. It'll be Huntsville basketball, 149 remaining first half. Ball in play to River Gosfiner. Gosfiner up the floor. Right free throw line instead of Jack Eaton. Eaton up on point. Caleb Kirk rises for three. You bet! Caleb Kirk third three of the ball game. He's up to 13 points. Goes. Take it away, Christian Kane. On to Jack Eaton. On the point. Kirk three up. Yeah, it rattled out. No good. Rebound pulled by Joe Arat. Four Gentry. 122 remaining first half. 26 20 lead for Huntsville. Matt Joe Arat matched up against Jack Eaton. Brings it right, left side for Jake Falkenberry. Falkenberry driving, shooting. He'll go to the free throw line. He was fouled by Jack Eaton. Eaton goes with his first personal foul for Huntsville. Second team foul now against the Eagles. And now for Jake Falkenberry line with his first free throw attempts of the night for Gentry. Falkenberry's first shot off the iron, no good.
Second try by Falkenberry. On the way, he got that one. Jay Falkenberry, one out of two from the free throw line. Oops. Jay Falkenberry with one point on the contest. 26 21 lead now. The ball's taken away by the Pioneers. And then Matt Jolarat up the floor to Blake Boyd. Boyd to Jay Falkenberry. Ball dropped back now to Falkenberry. 20, 37 seconds remain here in the fadeway. Jump up Falkenberry. No good. They don't care. Pull by Jack Eaton for Huntsville. 30 seconds remaining. First half. 26 21 lead for Huntsville. Reverend Gosling are in the forecourt now as we hit 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Of, that Jim Stafford wants the last shot of the half for the Eagles. Gosling was matched up against Jake Falkenberry. Gosling still with it. Gosling seven seconds into Jose Angela and he'll go to the free throw line. The foul will be charged. To Matt Jolarat for Gentry, his first personal five team fouls now against the Pioneers. And that's his Jose Aguilar in line, two free throw attempts for Huntsville with 4.4. Remaining first half, Aguilar's first shot, good. Second shot for the senior, Jose Aguilar. On the way, rattles out, and I'm good. Fetching tape over, off to Caleb Kirk. Kirk driving, shooting! And that's the end of the first half of play from Pioneer Jim and Gentry in this 1-4-A conference matchup. 27-21 lead for the Huntsville Eagles over the Gentry Pioneers. We'll be back with the second half of play in just a second. This is Huntsville Eagle basketball here on Madison County Cable. Scott Thomas has a trial strictly poker on Madison County Cable starting the second half of play. Pioneer Jim and Gentry in this 1-4-A conference matchup. Huntsville Eagles up on the Gentry Pioneers, 27-21. Here's a quick scoring summary. First for Gentry, the was won by Brent Barker. He has 14 points, he's running four three-pointers. Cole Clips has scored six points. Jake Falkenberry has scored one. So for Huntsville, the was won by Caleb Kirk. He has 13 points on the game. Seven points for River Gosfiener. Three points for Jackie, two for Drew Garrett. And two points for Jose Aguilar. The Huntsville ball starting the second half of play on the floor for the Eagles. Our number four, Christian Kane, number 12, River Gosfiener, number 14, Jack Eaton, number 25, Caleb Kirk, number 43, Jose Aguilar. Eagles, three seniors, a junior and a sophomore on the floor. The shot up and good. Who made that, Lily? Uh, uh, Kirk. Kirk, thank you. Caleb Kirk with the basket for Huntsville. He's up to 15 points total. 29-21 lead for Huntsville over Gentry. 7-34 remaining here in the third quarter. Wally Dane with possession. Left side of the floor for the Pioneers. Sean Price still playing a very deliberate ball game. Coach a very deliberate ball game for Gentry. Ball back to the sophomore. Now Cole Cripps. Cripps. Keeping possession, brings it right side of the floor. Now Matt Jolaret on now to Wally Dane. Dane, left side now Cripps. Cripps still with possession on, on the center circle now to Hockenberry. Ryan Hockenberry. Hockenberry keeping possession. Hockenberry still with Hockenberry. He's got no man's land, backs it off now to Brent Barker. Barker on the point, now Cole Cripps. 6.40 remaining here in the third quarter. Eagles up by eight over Gentry, 29-21. Cole Cripps, right side of the point, matched up against River Gosfinger. Cripps into the paint. Off now, Matt Jolarat, up on the point to Wally Dane. Dane looking to drive. Dane in all the way, shoots it. Bye -bye, Jose Aguilar, he pulls it out of the air. Here comes River Gosfinger back, ahead now to Jack Eaton. Eaton pulls up on the right wing. Eaton into Aguilar, tipped away, taken away by Brent Barker for Gentry. Up the floor now to Matt Jewelrat. Jewelrat crosses it over now, Wally Dane. 
Right corner now. Here comes Cole Cripps driving across, shooting and scoring. Cole Cripps up to eight points on the game now. Huntsville leads Gentry. 29-23, 5.55 remains here in, the first, here in the third quarter. Jack Eaton, right wing now for the Eagles. Eaton skips it over to River Gosner. Corner three, no good. Ball stepped around, played by Barker for the Pioneers. There's Matt Jewelrat. Jewelrat. Brings it on into the forecourt. Matt Jewelrat, that's something to Jack Eaton. There's a switch now and a blocking foul on Jack Eaton for Huntsville. Eaton charged with a second personal foul for Huntsville. First team foul of the half against Huntsville. The ball will be inbounded by the Pioneers. And the backcourt goes to Matt Jewelrat. 5.25 remaining now in the third. Six points lead for Huntsville, 29-23. Jewelrat, left wing to Cole Cripps. Cripps driving on across, leaves it back for Wally Dane. Up on the point to Ryan Hockenberry. Hockenberry, looking, looking to drive a little bit. Brings it back off now to Cripps. Cole Cripps into the paint. Runner, blocked away! Gossman pulls it out of the air, off, the, off his own deflection. Here comes the junior, River Gossmeaner into the forecourt. Gossmeaner into the paint. With the runner, yes sir, yes sir! River Gossmeaner, nine points on the game now for the junior. Huntsville East Gentry, 31-23, 4.47 remaining in the third. Wally Dane with possession now for Gentry. Crosses it over now to Matt Jewelrat. Jewelrat in the corner now. Three-pointer by Ron Hockenberry. Short of the mark, no good. Rebound, tipped around. It's Kale Kirkins up with it. But he's out of bounds with it. It'll be Gentry basketball, 4.33 remaining here in the third quarter. 31-23, lead for Huntsville. Ball in play to Wally Dane now for Gentry. On to Brent Barker. Barker off a little rub from Dane. Back down to Dane. Right free throw line extended, Matt Jewelrat. Jewelrat match up against Jack Eaton. On to Cole Cripps. Cripps with the runner. Shoots it. No good. Rebound. Steps around. And it'll be just Eaton as we save out. A traveling violation on Gentry. Against Wally Dane. It will be Huntsville basketball. 4-12 remaining here in the third quarter. 31-23 the lead for Huntsville. Ball in play now to River Gossmeaner. Matchup against Wally Dane. Goes left side now Jack Eaton. Eaton, ball tipped away and taken back by Wally Dane for the Pioneers. Dane driving. Dane off to Brent Barker for the basket. Brent Barker, 16 points on the game now. 31-25 lead for Huntsville over Gentry. 349 remains here in the third quarter. It's Caleb Kirk driving, shooting. No good. And he'll be out of bounds off Kirk last. It'll be Gentry basketball, 342 remaining here in the third. Six-point lead for Huntsville, 31-25. And here's Wally Dane. Working the ball in the full court now for Gentry. Dane, bringing it to the left side of the floor now. Goffin to Brent Barker. Barker, tipped away, is it back with Dane? Dane, up top to Cole Cripps. Cripps, on to Ryan Hockenberry. Hockenberry with possession for Gentry. Three tender men here in the third quarter. Brent Barker, gets it back from Hockenberry. Fourth right corner, Hockenberry shoots a three. No good rebound, a wall by River Goffin. And now to Christian Kane. Kane. Off back to Gossbeiner. Gossbeiner to the paint. With the runner. No good. Kirk with the put back. Caleb Kirk, 18 points on the game now for the senior. Huntsville. Caleb Kirk with 17 points on the game now, pardon me. 33-25, Lee Central, 225 ball taken away by Jose Aguilar. Up in now, River Gossmeiner. Gossmeiner, all the way in, yes! River Gossmeiner, the only points on the game now for the junior. Timeout, taken by Sean Price for Gentry. It'll be a full timeout, Pioneers. We'll take it along with them. 
2.15 remains in the third. Scores now Huntsville 35, Gentry 25. We're back in just a second here on Eagle Basketball, Madison County Cable. Two fifteen remaining in the third quarter here at Pioneer Gym and Gentry in this 1-4-A conference senior boys matchup. That's the Huntsville Eagles on top of the Gentry Pioneers. 35-25. Be Gentry basketball. There's the second horn. Gentry needs to go ahead and break the huddle. And it'll be Brent Barker coming to take the inbound for the Pioneers. Christian Kane sneaking up on Wally Dane. And play to Dane. Dane, Kane will back up into the, into the front court. That's Wally Dane brings it ahead. On to Brent Barker for a three shot. No good. Rebound, Caleb Kirk for Huntsville. Here's River Gosfiener up the left side of the floor for Huntsville. Toss it to Christian Kane. Hey, four, three, rattles out, no good. Kirk with the board, saves it back in play to Jack Eaton. Eaton to Kirk in the right corner. Kirk will dribble on across. West free throw line extended to Kane, left corner, Gosfiener. Three shot up, front iron and over the backboard. It will be Gentry basketball, 137 remaining third quarter. 35-25 lead for the Eagles. Here comes Wally Dane into the floor court now for Gentry. Match up against Jose Aguilar. Dane looking to drive. Dane in all the way shoots. Offensive foul, Wally Dane. Charge taken by Caleb Kirk. That'll be Wally Dane's second personal foul for Gentry. First team foul of the half against the Pioneers. 125, the main third quarter. 35-25 lead for the Eagles. Here's River Gosfiener on into the full court. Gosfiener, left wing to Jack Eaton. Eaton, left of the point, Jose Aguilar. Reverse it, right side, Christian Kane. Kane, mid post, Aguilar. Aguilar, left wing now. That's Eaton driving to the baseline, brings it back out now. Three pointer, Caleb Kirk, yes sir! <laughs> Caleb Kirk with his fourth three of the ball game. He's up to 20 points total for the senior. 38-25 lead for Huntsville, 54 seconds remaining third quarter. Wally Day up to Brent Barker between the circles. Barker pulling up, shooting. No good off the back iron. Rebound claimed back by Blake Boyd. Comes to Wally Dane. Dane inside, taken away by Jack Eaton. Tipping it to Christian Kane. Here's River Gosfiener. Gosfiener will pull it up. Be patient with the basketball. Wally Dane will send the defense on the junior Gosfiener. Gosfiener. And a hand check is called on Wally Dane. Dane with his third personal foul for Gentry, second team foul now against the Pioneers. Ball in the backcourt to River Gosfiener. Gosfiener will bring it on ahead against Dane, 20 seconds remaining here in the third. Gosfiener center circle. Gosfiener. Referee starting the count now, he's up to four. Up to five, that's the five seconds. It'll be Gentry basketball with nine seconds remaining here in the third. You... The ball being inbounded to Matt, by Matt Jularat. And play to Wally, Dane, eight seconds. Dane. Dane still with it, Dane will shoot it. No good off the back iron, that's the third. Into the third here in Gentry. But the Huntsville Eagles up on the Gentry Pioneers. 38-25, we're back in the fourth quarter in just a second. This is Huntsville Eagle basketball here on Madison County Cable. Scott Thomas back with Charles Cookie, Cogar on Madison County Cable. About ready to start the fourth quarter of play from Pioneer Jim and Gentry in this 1-4-A conference senior boys matchup. It is the Huntsville Eagles. Up on the Gentry Pioneers, 38-25. Gentry will have possession starting the fourth quarter. Ball is up on Matt Julerat for the Pioneers. Back up top, Julerat looking to drive, pulling up, shooting from 12, no good. Rebound, Caleb Kirk for Huntsville.
River Gossman crosses into Jack Eaton. Drop free throw line extended, Caleb Kirk. Kirk into Jose Aguilar. Aguilar off to Jack Eaton, rises for a three. Off the back iron, no good. River Gossman pulls the long carom. Gossman pulls up, shoots it, no good. Rebound Kirk, right back out to Gossman. Three up again, no good. And it's pulled eventually by Jake Falkenberry for Gentry. Falkenberry willing, tipped away by Jack Eaton, now to bounce, it will remain Gentry basketball. Ball's inbounded to Wally Dane. Dane to Falkenberry. Jake Falkenberry driving on across on the, center, on the point to Matt Jewelrat. Jewelrat is corner now to Dane. Dane driving on across left wing. Three pointer by Blake Boyd. No good. Rebound Jake, Jack Eaton for Huntsville. 6.44 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Eagles up by 13 over Gentry. 38 25. Twin circles, Christian Kane now. Kane. Keeping possession, left side of the floor, River Gossfinger towards the left corner and down to Jack Eaton. Eaton, on the point, Gossfinger now. Gossfinger with the ball fake right side to Kane. Christian Kane, the Gossfinger. Gossfinger, looking inside. Left corner now, Eaton. Eaton, back up top and goes to River Gossfinger. Reverses it to Christian Kane, right back to Gossfinger now. Sean Price wants the Pioneers to extend their defense out now. Jack Eaton with possession matched up against Wally Dane. Eaton is fouled by Jake Falkenberry. Falkenberry with his first personal foul for Gentry. Three team fouls now against the Pioneers. Six minutes even remaining in the fourth quarter. Huntsville up by 13, 38-25. Ball in the backcourt now to River Gossfinger. Gossfinger right side of the floor to Caleb Kirk. Between the circles, Gossman versus Jack Eaton. No check that, that's Christian Kane with it now. Kane sends it right side of the floor over to Jack Eaton, right back to Kane. Free throw line extended now, Gossfiener. Gossfiener back up top to Kane, reversing the ball right side to Eaton. On to Caleb Kirk, left side of the floor, Gossfiener. Gossfiener on to Eaton, right back to Gossfiener. Gossfiener fouled on the play by Brent Barker. That'll be Barker's second personal foul for Gentry. 14 fouls now against the Pioneers. Ball being bounded right in front of the scorer's table. And play to River Gossfinger in the backcourt. Gossfinger backs up against Brent Barker. Gossfinger on into the front court now. Ball tipped away by Barker out of bounds. It will remain Huntsville basketball. Ball being triggered in on the far side line by the senior Christian Kane. Kane in the backcourt now to Christian Kane. Actually, Eaton in the backcourt to Christian Kane, pardon me. On the, jet, on the River Gossfiener, left sideline, right from the Huntsville bench, Kane. First of all, Caleb Kirk, right side now to Eaton. Jack Eaton. Eaton matched up against Cole Cripps. Eaton still with it, reverses the ball to Caleb Kirk. Kirk still with it. Kirk left side of the floor, now ball goes now to Gossfiener. River Gossfiener. Still with it, a little hesitation dribble, keeps possession, matchup against Falkenberg. On to Eaton now. Jack Eaton reverses the ball to River Gossfiener. Right back to Eaton now. Eaton and Gossfiener now. Gossfiener still with it. Foul called on Jake Falkenberry for Gentry. That's Falkenberry's second personal foul. Five team fouls now against the Pioneers. Substitution now for Gentry. Here comes Ryan Hockenberry back in. Ryan Hockenberry replacing Wally Dane. Ball in the backcourt to River Gossfiener for Huntsville. As ball tip foul detected against Ryan Hockenberry for Gentry. That's Hockenberry's first personal foul. 16 fouls now against the Pioneers. They need to move those student section off the court though. Ball is head to Christian Kane. River Gossfinger with it now, double team. Gossfinger stepping through, off to Christian Kane. Kane is fouled by Cole Cripps. Cripps is charged with his third personal foul for, Hunts for Gentry, 17 fouls now against the Pioneers. Announcing Christian Kane to the line. 
with a one and one. This will be Kane's first free throw attempt of the ball game. Senior throw shot on the way. Rattles out, no good. Rebound pulled by Jake Falkenberry for Gentry. 4-12 remaining in the fourth quarter. Huntsville up by 13 at 38-29 three-pointer. I talk about it, no good. Rebound, Caleb Kirsch for Huntsville. Over to Christian Kane, over, now to River Gosfiener. Gosfiener rolls away from the double team on the full court. Ahead now to Kane. Christian Kane on to Gosfiener, reverses ball, Jack Eaton now. Right back to Gosfiener, fouled on the play by Matt Jurat. That'll be Jurat's second personal Second personal foul for Gentry, 18th out now against the Pioneers. That'll be River Gosman at line with a one and one. This is the junior's first free throw attempt of the game. First shot by Gosman on the way, rattles out, no good rebound pulled by Falkenberry for Gentry. It's still a 13 point lead for Huntsville, 38 25, 344 remaining fourth quarter. Jake Falkenberry on the point. Ball goes over to Ryan Hockenberry. Hockenberry backs it up to the left wing. Hockenberry. Into the paint with the runner, fouling against Jose Aguilar for Huntsville. Billy Aguilar's first personal foul. Second team foul now against the Eagles. And Ryan Hockenberry will be at the line with his first free throw attempt in the ball game for Gentry. First shot by Hockenberry, on the way, rattles out, no good. Second free throw attempt for Ryan Hockenberry on the way, he got that one. That's the first point in the game for Hockenberry. 38-26 is the lead for Huntsville. Three and a half minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. River Gosfiener with possession. Gosfiener fouled by Ryan Hockenberry. That'll be Hockenberry's second personal foul for Gentry. 19 fouls now against the Pioneers. Here come substitutions. Coming out of the ball game is Jake Falkenberry. He's replaced by Wyatt Clark. And River Gosfinger back at the line with the one and one. Gosfinger's first shot. On the way, good, he'll get the bonus free throw attempt. That's the Eagles' first point here in the fourth quarter. Second shot by Gosfinger on the way, rattles out, no good, rebound pulled by Jewelrat. River Gosfinger's now one out of three from the free throw line. He's up to 12 points total. 39-26 lead for Huntsville, 318 remains. Ball is lost to Caleb Kirk. Wyatt Clark lost control of the basketball. And the foul will be called against Matt Jolarab for Gentry. That'll be Jolarab's third personal foul. 10 team fouls now against the Pioneers. Huntsville now in the double bonus for River Gosfinger shooting two. First shot by Gosfinger on the way, good. Second free throw attempt by Gosfinger on the way, nailed them both. River Gosfinger now three out of five from the free throw line, he's up to 14 points total. Huntsville leads Gentry, 41-26, 3.07 remains fourth quarter. Here's Matt Jolarad driving. A foul will be detected against Jack Eaton for Huntsville. Eaton is charged with his third personal foul for Huntsville. Three team fouls now against the Eagles. Ball be inbounded by Ryan Hockenberry for Gentry. All the way up top, ball tipped away by Christian Kane and Kane plucks it down the air. Kane ahead of River Gosfinger all the way in. Yes sir! River Gosfinger, 16 points on the game now for the junior. 43-26 is the lead. And a timeout will be taken by Sean Cross. Full timeout taken by the Pioneers. We'll take it with them. 2.54 remains in the fourth quarter. Huntsville 43, Gentry 26, we're back in just a second. This is Eagle Basketball on Massey County Cable. 2.54 remaining here in the fourth quarter at Pioneer Gym and Gentry in this 1-4-A conference matchup. The Huntsville Eagles are in firm control now, leading the Gentry Pioneers 43-26. Five on the floor for the Eagles. Number four, Christian Kane. Number 12, River Gosfiener. Number 14, Jack Eaton. Number 25, Caleb Kirk. And number 43, Jose Aguilar. Eagles with three seniors, a junior and a sophomore on the floor. Ball's inbounded now to Matt Jewelrat. Ball's right side, now three-pointer by Jewelrat. No good, rebound Caleb Kirk again for Huntsville. Outlet now to River Gosfiener. And a foul will be detected against the Pioneers. Against Wyatt Clark. Clark. 
is charged with his first personal foul. Two shots on the double bonus now for River Gosfiener. First shot by Gosfiener. On the way. True. Here comes Drew Garrett back in the game for the Eagles, replacing Jose Aguilar. Second shot by Gosfiener on the way. He got them both. River Gosfiener now five out of seven from the free throw line. He's up to 18 points total. Principal up on Gentry, 45, 26, two and a half minutes remaining in the fourth. Ryan Hockenberry on the point now for Gentry. Hockenberry driving on Garrett. Hockenberry stops. Spin, shoots, blocked away by Garrett. Again, punch out of there and the foul be detected against Hockenberry. That's another touch at Dwight Clark. Clark with his second personal foul now for Gentry. And Drew Garrett will step to the line for Huntsville with his first two free throw attempts of the knots for the Eagles. First shot by the senior. On the way. Rattles home. Second shot by Drew Garrett. On the way. Back on and out. No good. Picked up by Matt Jolorat. Drew Garrett up to three points on the game. Now Huntsville leads Gentry 46-26. 2.15 remains fourth quarter. Matt Jillerat looking to drop. Jillerat with runner and a foul be taken on the floor against Jack Eaton for Huntsville. No, that's in charge to Caleb Kirk. Kirk is charged with his first personal foul for Huntsville. 14 fouls now against the Eagles. Ball be inbounded to Ron Hockenberry. Hockenberry. Off now to Brent Barker. Barker. Over to Cole Cripps, Cripps looking dry. That, actually, a hell ball is forced by Drew Garrett. We hunt for basketball on the alternate possession. 2-0-4 remaining fourth quarter, 20 point lead for the Eagles. 46-26. River Gosfiener into the four court. Gosfiener will pull it out. Brent Barker matches up against him. Ball goes left wing now. Ball goes to Gosfiener. Gosfiener, all right, wing Christian Kane. Kane with the ball fake. Off to Drew Garrett. Right back to Kane on the right wing. To Caleb Kurt now. Crosses the ball over to River Gosfiener. Gosfiener up top to Kirk. Kirk, Gosfiener now. Right side now, Kane. Back now to Kirk. Caleb Kirk, timeline now to Kane. Right back to Kirk now. Kirk looking to drive. Kirk all the way in. No good, and Drew Garrett will be called on the back, I believe. Drew Garrett is charged with his first personal foul for Huntsville. Five team fouls now against the Eagles. 118 remaining, fourth quarter, 20 point lead for Huntsville, 46 to 26. Here comes Cole Cripps into the full court now for Gentry. Cripps into the paint with the runner, he floats it. It's no good. Rebound pulled by Jack Eaton's Russell. Well, that led to River Gosfiener. Gosfiener on the floor court. Gosfiener splitting the pairs all the way in. Gets it. River Gosfiener, 20 points game on the game now for the junior. 48-26 lead for the Eagles, 53 seconds. Cole Cripps will keep it right by the timeline. Cripps. Being deliberate with the basketball. Yeah. And Gentry is ready for this game to be over with. Huntsville took control of the game in the third quarter. And they'll finish off with the win here at Pioneer Gym and Gentry. Cole Cripps keeping possession as we had 15 seconds. Cripps still with it. 12 seconds now. Now 10 seconds. And Cripps will just dribble a ball out. And this game will be in the books for the Huntsville Eagles. 48-26 is the final score in favor of Huntsville. That puts Huntsville now to 22-2 overall, 9-1 inside the 1-4-A conference. Just got the 10-9 overall, 3-7 in the week. So for Charles Dickey Cohen, this is Scott Thomas. Wish you a good evening. The Pioneer Gym and Gentry. 48-26 wins for Huntsville over Gentry Pioneers. We'll talk with you all down the road. This has been Master County Cable's coverage of the Eagle basketball.